Hey everyone, this is Dan. Here with the new Touch Designer component release. This one is called the Cam Sequencer, and it lets you save camera settings in a preset list and interplay between them with different easing curves. So just by adding four positions in this preset list and interpolating between them using different easing curves, I can create this very nice camera path. Um, there's a whole bunch of easing curves. There's even one that kind of makes your camera bounce. Um, I took all these formulas from easings.net. Uh, you can quickly see them there. Um, yeah, let's get into how to use it. It should be very easy. There's even a readme if you want to skip everything, but I have an important notice first. This component will be available for download through my Patreon, which now I have. Please consider joining a tier if you want more stuff. But I'm also keeping the Gamrod option open if you prefer that way. Now onto how to use this component. I've just created this instance geometry here and I've dragged in the cam sequencer component from my palette sidebar. If you didn't know, you can save your own components here in a folder list. I recommend you build your own kind of library, which I'm trying to do. And this is part of it. So the cam sequencer is a normal camera comp in its heart. Um, so you will use it in the very same way you would do with the normal camera comp. You can drag it onto the render top. It has the very same parameters, but it also has this extra sequencer tab, which we will now use to, to build a new, new sequence. I will disable the animation on this select parameter so that everything stays still while I'm operating the camera. Activate the cam sequencer's viewer. Go to another location that I want my first position to be. Hit in it. This will also clear the previously saved um, presets. Go to another location. I can also change the FOV angle manually. This camera also has a look at null connected to it. I can change the look at position. This will also get saved in the presets. And if I hit append, I can go between these two camera positions with the selected easing curve. I can also replace a selected preset. So let's say I want to change my second position in some way. Let's go out more like this. I will hit replace and we will go between these positions now. I can also insert before a given preset. So let's say I want something else to be my second position. Hit insert. And there you go. I can also remove a preset. So far we've had this ease override toggle turned on, which means that whatever I select here will be the easing curve for all the presets, but I actually can save the easing curve tied to a preset. So how it works is let's say I want to go into my second preset um, with a in out circ. I will now disable this ease override, replace this preset so now it also change the easing curve and go into my third preset also change the ease curve here to outquad replace and going into my first preset from the third one i want to use in or out bounds yeah let's do that so i hit replace again Enable our f seconds expression here, and you can see that there's now a different easing between each between each camera position. So that would be basically it. I hope this component becomes your go-to default camera comp. And I know there are some preset systems out there in Touch Designer. But I, I thought I would 
create this specifically for the camera and make it as easy to use as possible. So again, this component is available for download on my Patreon. Consider joining if you want some more stuff, more components, more project files, tips and tricks and whatnot. Um, also, please let me know if you end up using this thing. You can tag me on Instagram at function.str. And thanks for watching.